What is up? It is Toby again, aka Cushing from the Toby and Davey YouTube channel. Check out all our stuff. We got a podcast called Drinking a Joint, which is a lot of fun. We got Flashback Flicks, which is us reviewing movies. And Davey does a Grateful Dead guitar tutorial, and it's called Play Dead. So check out all our stuff on our channel. And this is Loose Beats, where our slogan is chill out and make a beat. And that's what we're going to do today. Let's run over one. I've already pulled up. Pretty new. Uh, originally started making it on the 4th of July, which you can see in the date. And I'm going to run through the beat really quick just to get to the vocals because I kind of want to go over a few things and the new vocal synth, the most recent one at least. And we're going to try to get some cool effects down here on our vocals. So we got... A electric keyboard here to start out which um, I played on my Korg stage vintage which I love and let's hear what it sounds like Yeah, just really simple setup here. You can look down at our MIDI and see the movements. I have uh, a little bit of, uh, just put a little stereo delay on it so it uh, bounces in your ears a little bit. It's on there already, but I just cranked it up a bit to brighten it, you know. Um, so we have our basic setup here. And then we're gonna get in right into our other melodies. We've got a, a Sunrise Chords, which is a synth. And you can see how that brings us a little, little stereo delay in that one too. Using our same MIDI chords just kinda gives it a little more breathy kinda sound, you know, a little more breath in it. And we've got our alien space probe, another effect just to bring out, which I just played the basic chord to kind of give us some background there. You can hear that one alone. It's just really faint, kind of industrial sound in the background, you know, to give it some, a uh, little bit of uh, rhythm to it, deep in our melody, you know. And then we've got our bass that kicks in here, which you can see our MIDI down here. Just a really simple kind of bouncy step to it to walk down. You hear that? So I'm just using the thumb bass, really simple. Probably need to add a little effect on it at some point, but keeping it basic as possible at this point. Yeah, in here. Let's hear our melody all together. Let's see how that sounds. It gives us a real chill, wavy vibe, you know, and the bouncy bass kind of gives it a little something to play off of, you know. So now right into the beat. Let's see. We've got our, uh, I think this is our kick that comes in first. Just to work along with our bass to give it a more prominent sound. And with the way it ends like that steady doom doom, I think 
it could eventually just become fully electronic at some point, which would be nice. But we're not to that point yet. So moving down the line, this is our actual beat drop here. Uh, first, I think we've got our snare. Which I just always you still use ultra beat. There's a few other options, but for me, this is the simplest. Uh, picked an Atlanta snare here and then just made, you know, at least four different variances of these patterns. Dragged them in right here. And that's just something to play with to see kind of what sounds good to the ear. And next. Looks like we've got our hi-hat. Which, let's see. Got the, uh, the dirt hop hi-hat here. It's a good sample. Just kinda, it's not as tinny as the, a lot of the 808 kits are. And same kind of thing as the snare. I just ran through a few different patterns. At least four, you know. It's good to do eight too, in case you need a little variance uh, midway through a song, you know. And then we see running down the line. I think this is our open hat. So fill in our pauses. Next, which I go back and forth between using Ultra Beats 808s and using this trap bass instrument, which is just in your synthesizer basses. Bomb pause. And let's see. We just got a simple little step down with our 808s here. This trap bass, we can see how. How it sounds alone, and then how it sounds in the mix. To kind of coincide with our kick, but also give us some depth to our bass up here that we're working with. And we'll see how that kind of fits in here. Just kind of stretches out our bass a little bit. Sure, if that 808 is coming through good on you guys, and it's because I've got it mixed kind of low, but uh, when it hits through these speakers, you can really hear it, you know. And so, quickly ran through that beat, and now I want to show you our vocals here. So, I just uh, started off with really simple uh, riding, you know, just I kind of went through something real quick so we'd have something over this beat to show you couple different things and so let's see how these sound I'll start without any ad-libs or anything else I'll just show you where the lyrics come in head float like a skateboard but I roll up with no bearings fast still got that tape rolling but tapes all on my cameras don't need production yeah and you can kind of see how I'm kind of hopping through uh, the the tone just being a little wavy with the way I'm putting the words together. I'm gonna bring up our lyrics. I think I have them down in here. All right, run this through. I got like that in the intro. Like 
may be the family you learn The status will dictate your terms More than just few of words All conversations are written off I could be writing the first Or I could be doing much worse Yeah, I'll end up swimming with birds And you'll end up flying with fishes But I ain't got nothing to do with that We just been bouncing ideas off each other That's just a screenplay We making movies that never get made We clap for theater, never get played Yeah, yeah, yeah it's all bow in the bank. Here it's all bow in the bank. I know it sounds all done to trust myself. It's our little yeah. break, yeah. Just me. Something quirky. I don't know. Anyone else you could. I just want your life. And I got it so I don't. So we're going to have to bring those in, mix those in. Let me show you. With our uh, ad libs in the background here, and then we're gonna get into our vocal scent. Got ad libs really low, just just some kind of wavy, goofy shit back there. But I roll up with no bearings Best still got that tape rolling But tape's all on my cameras Don't need production teams I'm on some fucking shit Line them all up with a shoe squad Hit like a scary Hang on my enemies upside down And don't give a fuck if that shooting stars Every day 4th of July Maybe the family will learn The status will dictate your time That's my, my favorite part right there world. Just that little ad lib when it comes in That, that really high Upside yeah. down and don't give a fuck if they're shooting stars Every day 4th oh, yeah. of July Maybe the family will learn The status will dictate your time More This matches with our electric piano so well So our reverb's pretty heavy We got some extra compression and gain on our ad libs And now to the vocal synth down here So I've already got one instance of vocal synth On this little quirky breakdown here Bowing the bank here it's all bowing the bank. I know it sounds all done to trust myself. Do you trust me? I don't know anyone else you could. I just want your love, and I got it so I don't. Just to give a little futuristic sound. So, what I want to show you is with these ad libs on the back of our breakdown here. So, I took that uh, quirky little happy thing and sang it out fully, which you can hear just by itself. It's not. I had a bit crusher on here originally, which I'm going to change. I just wanted that uh, kind of gritty sound from this bit crusher, but it's not really doing me justice. So we'll pull up this isotope vocal synth two here. I'm just going to run it right through it, not even bust it, just because I need it on running through everything, you know. Um, let's pull up our vocal synth here. Vocal synth is one of the hardest things to run on my computer. It always seems, when there's too many instances especially, that it just overloads really quickly. Um, I kind of want that sound like, let's see, I will use the preset actually. I don't want that sound of to almost make it like a synth kind of sound. So let's run through a few of these and, and see what it does to it. It's kind of a chorus. Yeah, see, our vocoder might be one of our best options there. It'll still give us that grittiness. And raise the velocity a little bit, level of it. I do you think that's just the same as the level though, actually? Okay, let's see what that sounded like. I Very haunting in the background. So we're going to get something like that going. We could add in a talk box. Some Let's see. Let's just give it a try and see. Yeah, 
really gritty. And I do like that. And so we've already got it set down here for our first vocal, but I'm going to pull this back just a little bit and see if that sets in with it nice. I almost want it a lot higher pitched. I just want to pitch it up a little bit, but don't know. Let's move our register up a little bit and see what that does to it. Trust myself to you. Trust me, I don't know. Anyone else you could, I kind of like just the vocal. And I got it so wide though. And that's, that's, that break's going to be completely different, you know, but I just wanted to keep the kind of improvisational feel of how how weird it sounded but i wanted to have a little background to kind of play off of it so let's give it all a look over one more time I do like our vocal synth back there, but it's honestly too gritty still for me. So I think what I'm going to have to do is actually run this vocoder with a, an actual synth and have it hitting all my same notes. And that'll kind of brighten up our background there. So yeah, that's it for this rendition of Loose Beats. Uh, if you do like anything that you hear, you can always hit us up. My Instagram is at Cushing Prawley, P R A L Y. Uh, same on Twitter. And if you want to collab, whatever, give us a shout. We're going to go out on the song once more, let you hear what it sounds like all together. <laughs> Fucking move. 